Hey, my name is Joshua, and I've been sober from fentanyl since uh, New Year's Eve. So it's kind of special because I can measure it year for year. Like every time I hit the new year, I'm like, ah, I made it a year. So it's easy to track it that way. So you're already thinking about the years of sobriety ahead. Oh yeah. And I'm gonna like put my all into it because I know how much it means this time. Like everything feels like it's meant to happen. You went through 10 days of detox from fentanyl. How bad was it? Oh, it was pretty horrifying. I knew I couldn't do it on the streets because when I tried, I'd end up vomiting and I didn't have the energy to go out and get the nutrients or water. Oh yeah, definitely. I'm ready to live life with a purpose. So going through detox this time, was there ever a moment where you're like, I'm not strong enough for this, I can't do it? Um, well, the worst part is like, I felt uncomfortable detoxing and it was a one of the best detoxes I've ever been to, really. It, uh, I'm usually used to detoxing in a psych ward. This is like, a, pretty expensive house and it was nice it was a great service and the worst thing was I was worried about vomiting all over the nice stuff but it was a hardwood floor and it worked out I mean I survived and I made it how good did you feel after you accomplished the detox um I just now I'm now recently feeling the benefits you know because I feel like I'm starting to really come out of it because I was a pretty hardcore user and uh, now I'm starting to see like, wow, I just got out of that. Like things are starting to open up on the inside, you know what I mean? What made you pick up fentanyl for the first time? Um, It was my birthday and I had gotten the wrong roommates on my birthday. I, you know, I sometimes I tended to do LSD and they like, I was feeling anxiety and scared from the LSD and they, they're they like, well, here's three lines of fentanyl. Uh, it might ease your pain. Just do it throughout the night. And when I did, you know, the combination, I kind of uh, fell in love with it and chase. I mean, it killed my pain, inner, like emotional pain. Were you taking it to numb pain then? Yeah, emotional. And then it turned, the emotional turned into physical anxiety, like tenseness that I'm still kind of trying to get out of, but I see progress for sure. The fact that you came through so much and the fact that you were able to go through the detox and all the hard things, does it make you feel confident going into this program? Yeah, it does. Cause like I've gone through other programs and I know that addiction is progressive and so is recovery. You know, you can go in one direction downward or you can go in recovery and continue to progress upwards but you got to put in it's you get whatever you put into it you know mm -hmm. Josh what's a dream that you have for your future um I'd like to fully get this I know they say addiction is a disease that you deal with forever but I feel like there's a way to completely uh cure it you know and all every program I've ever been to has been uh, one month long and I've been able to be very successful. But this is a nine month program, so I'm hoping to get nine times as much out of it. And if somebody is watching this and they're thinking about sponsoring um, to help sew into your recovery, what do you say to that person that's watching? Um, I'd say that uh, you could probably already see a lot of progress in just 13 days. So it hasn't even been a month and I'm just, I'm trying to make it to every meeting and I've been learning a lot about God and trying to, and it's been helping out a lot, get that negative energy out. So if you look at my first interview, which you probably should, you notice a major difference. It's just compare the two, you know? Do you know that we're here for you? Yeah, for sure. Yeah, you guys have always been here. Yeah. And 
you noticed me when I came to the church. Hi, unfortunately, but she asked, Sarah asked if I needed help. And like I, sh I started to look up a little bit and show some life. She's like, well, he, I know he's wanting to get out of this. He's suffering. So she's been by my side the whole time and I've trusted her and she's helped guide me through this for sure. Do you feel like you have hope for your future? Oh yeah, for sure. I see my potential. I mean, I knew my potential the whole time. It's just, I had this brain fog. You have a whole group rooting for you. We're, yeah. we're here for you and we're so proud of you. So proud of what you're doing. You're taking steps and we have hope for your future. Yeah, thank you. I know you guys believe in me.